everybody, and welcome to another episode here on Milwaukee Beer Review. As always, I'm Josh. And I'm Ross. And tonight we are heading to the East Coast, and we are going to visit the great state of New York and Equilibrium Brewing Company. Now, we haven't done a lot from them on the channel. Obviously, we primarily focus in the Midwest and Wisconsin mm -hmm. and Milwaukee. Um, but uh, three sellers here in Menominee Falls had some really good stuff from Equilibrium. They get it every once in a while, and I snagged these three this past week, and I was like, these would be fun ones to do on the channel. Yeah. So, um, what do you know about Equilibrium? Not much. Uh, <laughs> at all. Um, I was hoping you'd say that. Yeah, I got nothing. I know you, you're a big fan of them. I've had stuff with you off, like off the channel and everything we've yeah. had here and there. Stop um, watching the Brewer game. I'm not watching the game. You were. They missed the double play. Uh, no, it was a good thing. Oh, oh, yay! Yeah. Um, <laughs> Sorry. So, Sorry, folks. Um, yeah, I don't know anything about them, though. So. Okay. Um, well, we've got three different uh, stouts. These are not barrel-aged, weird, for this channel, but they come in at 11%, 11%, and 10%, and all three of these are very unique brews and different uh, iterations of what I assume is their base stout. So... The first one we're going to try is actually the Cookies and Cream Pop. So this is an Imperial Stout with crushed cookies, cake mix, cocoa nibs, Madagascar vanilla, and lactose. So I'm guessing an Oreo in a glass. So 11%. Let's get a little nose on this thing. Terrible. chocolate yeah it's a lot of chocolate not like a bitter chocolate i wouldn't say sweet either because it's definitely got that chocolate note to it it smells it smells like oreo cookies it's it like does. that kind of chocolate note it's like yeah you can almost smell like the ground chocolate yeah. like when a oreo falls apart you know sure um crumbs crumbs <laughs> there we are there's a the word <laughs> the, the word not um, ground crumbs <laughs> i'm not really getting like that that creamy like you know center at all I mean, it's yeah. more of the, the chocolate the bready chocolate that you're getting from this it's it's heavy chocolate and vanilla yeah. on the nose yeah. yeah all right all right let's give it a shot cheers cheers Ooh. i mean first and foremost it is a thick Mm -hmm. Smooth beer. Um, next, you know, carbonation. But it is, it's like, I know it's like soy sauce or got that kind of oil thickness to it. Yeah, medium to heavy body on yeah. this for sure. Almost bordering on like a, um, a pastry stout category. Yeah. Not quite to that degree, but it's inching that direction. I will say compared to what I was getting on the nose, um, the flavor profile is rather subdued, but not in a bad way. Mm -hmm. um, it's good flavor. It's it's there from finish to end. It's just nothing that really like pops, in my opinion. Um, it's all kind of there, but it's all very balanced, and smooth, and yeah, um, it's tasty. Yeah, it's not bad. It's a little sweeter than I think I'd like. I'd like a little bit more like a deeper chocolate flavor to it. I think, but. Um, it's good. I, I get where they were going with it, and I think they were pretty darn close to matching mm. what a liquid Oreo would be like. Now, looking these up earlier, because we wanted to get the ABV on them, I did see that they do do barrel-aged versions of these, and I think if we were to get the barrel-aged version of these, we would get that, like, pop that we really yeah. want with the flavors and kind of get a different, like, flavor profile that... Yeah. Okay. Uh, we would enjoy. Um, not, not that I don't enjoy this. I think it's good. You pair this up with barrel and yeah. booze and a spirit mm -hmm. character, and yeah. you might I, this might pop a little bit yeah. more. I agree. Okay, not bad. Untapped, where are you going? Cookies um, and cream pop. Three and a half. Yeah. I think okay. I'll put this at three and a half. It's enjoyable. It's good. I would definitely drink it. Like, oh, this is probably the limit I could drink of this, to be honest, with you, just because of the heaviness of it. Yeah. Um, but three and a half. Okay. I'm going to go 375. Okay. I think it's really well made. Um, I think to your point, it's heavy, right? This is definitely a share up, sharing yeah. type beer. Not something you're going to crack open and pound yourself. Um, you want to share this and split it with a few people. 
Really tasty though. Good yeah. dessert, solid dessert beer. I think you'd say one thing. It's, it's well made. Yeah. Like, it's not like my like three or five. I still think is a good score, but like it's not my score is not really a lack of like the, how it's made. It's just yeah. I just want a little more flavor out of it. Yeah. All right. So roll into the next one. What do we got? Oh, you gave me this on purpose. This is the <laughs> uh, a sipiter. Good job. Yeah. Practice it before the video. Uh, so this is an imperial stout with shredded coconut, macaroon coconut. What? Coconut macaroon cookies. Thai bananas and cocoa nibs. So a lot of coconut is what I'm getting out of this. A lot one. of coconut. Um, this one again that we said already comes in at eleven percent. Again, not a barrel age. Um, yeah, just get a little nose on it. It's funny. I said you should take one of these bottles and share it with your friends. We're gonna do three. Yeah, and share it with us. And share it with just the two of us. Now I did it. Yes. What were you gonna call me? All right. I don't know what that is. That's weird. Because it doesn't smell like coconut. No. What else is in there? Coconut. Just Thai bananas. That's got to be what's on the nose there. I don't, know, I don't know what makes a banana Thai. What's a Thai banana? Yeah, I don't know. That's what it kind of, it's got like a little, almost like a runt banana flavor to it. Like a little bit, like. Best runt. It's not. Oh my all right, well, we'll talk later. Check out more. I was Kanye expecting review. an explosion of coconut on the nose, yeah, and me it's too. just not no. there. It's not. I can't really pick up. Like, it might be the Thai banana, but I don't know what a Thai banana smells. I don't know what that is. Thai banana, Thai no, banana. No, no. It's not a thing. It's just, it's not a thing. <laughs> it's like, oh, that's the dude, from, Zazu, from Lion King. Asante sa with squashed banana. But he's, take, never mind. Okay, uh, we're going <laughs> to... We're, we're going to dive into this thing. <laughs> All right, cheers. Cheers. Oh, there it is. Oh, my God. Wow. Holy, holy shit. This is thicker than the last one. Oh. <clears throat> Whoa. This is one of the heaviest beers I think I've ever drank. That is thick. Um, that is heavy, it is heavy like body. Syrup. It is like syrup. Oh my god! It's super smooth though. It's like it's it's very very heavy, but it's got like it's it's like heavy whipping cream. I guess is the best way I can say it because it's got kind of that smooth oh. like creaminess to it. Um, but that coconut. Holy cow! On is, the palate, it yeah. is just like wow. I don't even know what to say besides like just like <laughs> it's like maple like you're drinking maple syrup with coconut in yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of. So it's it's, it's good though. No, it, yeah. That, let's get to that. It's it's really good. Um it's a good coconut flavor. Coconut. Ooh. I don't like I don't like eating coconut, but I like the taste of coconut and this does a really good job um balancing that out and everything. It's just is such a thick beer. It's crazy because the way this hits you on the palate, like the front end of it, like you get kind of like a a sweet coconut right away, but then like you you start to swallow and it's just like, whoa, that's yeah. beer yeah. and not syrup? Yeah. Like it's so thick. It's crazy. And then it finishes just sweet coconut cookie. <laughs> I mean, it's very dessert. It's yeah. a very, mu very much a dessert beer, bordering bordering on pudding. <laughs> yeah. um, it's a small sipper because you can't take a big sip because you feel like a choke on it. Mm -hmm. um, like even when you can just see it, like it lined the glass. Like, I don't know if you guys can pick that up, but like when we were kind of looking at this and we we're getting a nose, I'm like, oh my god, that is like it's grabbing the glass and everything. Yeah, um, that is intense. Okay. Good flavor. I mean, it's 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 more flavorful than the cookie pop. I'll say that. Yeah, it, totally, hundred um, percent. If I'm putting this one in untapped, um, even though it's probably a little too sweet for my palate, I do like it more than the cookie pop. So I'm gonna say a three seven five. Huh. I'm gonna flip flop with you. I'm going <laughs> three five on this one. This is a little too much. <laughs> like for me, I'm gonna give them all the credit in the world for what this is, but this is just a little too extreme. <laughs> like. This is bordering on not being a beer. <laughs> like, um, it's good. It's tasty. I'm glad that those flavors came out on the palate that weren't there on the nose because that made me a little nervous. Mm -hmm. But I agree. 
It's good, but I'd go 3.5 on this. You can't drink a lot of this. No. <laughs> not, no. not at all. No. All right. So how are we finish this off? So up last, <laughs> just keep it rolling, baby. <laughs> uh, we have got the Breakfast Time is Relative version. So this is an Imperial Stout with maple syrup and a blend of Master of Vietnam and Brazilian coffee. So this is going to be that breakfast-style stout, um, coffee, maple syrup. Um, we've had a lot of beers like that mm -hmm. on the channel. I'm curious where this one stacks up. So okay. let's get a little nose on it. Whoa. Coffee. Um, that's what I'm getting is that that kind of that spicy coffee note that you get with some of the coffee it's, stouts. It's almost like borderline peppery. There's yeah. like almost yeah. like a pepper yep. note. Yeah. And at first I was like, is there is there a pep is there some kind of pepper in here? It's coffee, but it, it does smell kind of like a pepper. No, and we've we've had those other coffee coffee beers that we've had where you smell it and you know it's coffee, but you get that slight like spiciness to it. And, yeah. I, don't, and I don't know what causes that in the process of all this because coffee's not spicy or peppery in any way, shape, or form. Um, but it causes that in some of the beers we've had, and this is definitely one of them. Well, let's try it out. Yeah, cheers. Cheers. So I'm not really getting any like the maple notes to it. It's really just that coffee note. Um, it's a good coffee, but you kind of want those other flavors to kind of shine through on this one. Um, to me, this just comes off more as just a coffee stout. Similar body to the cookies and cream yep. pop. A step down <laughs> from um, the God. occipiter. To your point, though, it's that like peppery, like heavy coffee character that hits you right in the front end of the palate and then it's brazilian coffee it's brazilian coffee and i wonder if that's part of it a blend oh vietnamese and brazilian coffee yeah i bet you that's so it's it's a it's a good coffee note mm -hmm. um but but it's different it's it's a unique coffee note at the same time yeah um, to your point, the there is I'm getting a little bit of maple out the yeah. back, but it's really really subtle. It, there's not a lot of it there. Similar to like when we reviewed Mystic Knot, the coffee overshadows most of what else is going on in this beer. Um, I don't have much else to say about it. No, I think I'm thick with nail ahead. I mean, this one's weird for me to rate because I do like it. I think it's good. Um, but I'm kind of, I'm going to be a little unfair here. I'm going to give it a three and a quarter um, simply because it's advertised as one thing and comes off as something else. It's, it's to me, this is just a pure coffee stealth. I don't get any of the syrup or anything. Um, it's good. And if it just advertised itself as a coffee stout, I think I would give it a higher score, which yeah. again, is a little unfair way of scoring things, yeah. but that's what I'm going to do. So three and a quarter, but I would strongly recommend this if you like coffee stouts. Yeah. Um, I'm actually going to go right along with you. I don't think it's an unfair score. I think, a three and a quarter is good. There's better coffee stouts out there. And mm -hmm. um, while I like this, and I think it's well made, it's missing some of the components they advertised, at least on the palate. Um, and I just think there's better coffee stouts out there. So for that reason, I'm going to go three and a quarter right along with you. Still not a bad beer, though, here yeah. from Equilibrium. Um, these are hefty. Yeah. Um, it, it, if you're looking for a dessert-style beer... Any one of these three, I think, fits that mold, including the last one. I, I think it. Oh it, yeah, it would be a great after dinner, nightcap type uh, beer. Digest day or whatever. Digest. Digest. There's a word for a post meal drink. Is there? Yeah, there is. Oh. Let's Let us know what it is. The food. Let us know um, what it is in the comments. This is a fun. The, I know we're like this. Is, these are three fun beers. Yeah. I would strongly recommend if you can find these, get them. Grab like five friends. And drink them with five friends. And they're, you'll and, the, need all five. and they're not cheap, so you probably want yeah. friends to yeah. share them with you um, to get the true value out of them. But um, they're good. They're, they're, they're solid beers. Mm -hmm. Not something that I think I'm reaching for on a typical night where no. I want to have a good beer, though. Yeah. So, all right. Well, good stuff here from Equilibrium out of New York. 
Uh, check us out on the rest of our social media channels. We are on Facebook. We are on Twitter. We are on Untapped. We are on Instagram. We are also here on YouTube. Have you tried these beers? Have you tried stuff from Equilibrium? Uh, are we wrong? Are we right? We are. Uh, <laughs> let us know in the comments. Um, thanks for checking out the channel. Uh, we'll see you all in the next one. Thanks, everyone.